magnetic potential refers to either vector magnetic potential or scalar magnetic potential both type of magnetic potentials are alternate ways to express the magnetic field that is b or h in a form of that may be more convenient for calculation or analysis this is similar to how the electric field electric field intensity e bar can be conveniently re-expressed in terms of electric potential magnetic potential yenduku use chestarante oka magnetic field represent cheyadaniki alternate way lo express cheyadaniki magnetic potentials vaadtaru ivi two types one is vector magnetic potential another one is two second one is scalar magnetic potential both are used to represent the magnetic field prior to start video scalar and vector magnetic potential if you are not subscribed please like and subscribe our channel and support us thank you in electrostatic fields we derived v equations e equal to minus del v where the relationship between e and del v is electric field and potential is gradient of minus negative gradient of potential similarly we can define a potential associated with magnetic field in fact the magnetic potential could be scalar vm vector scalar v is represented as vm and vector magnetic potential is represented as a to define vm and a what is a scalar potential and vector magnetic potential two important identities scalar electrostatic potential like that it is possible to have scalar magnetic potential it is defined as in such a way that it is a negative gradient gives the magnetic field the negative gradient of a scalar magnetic potential gives the magnetic field that is h equal to minus del vm here minus is not indicated that is mistaken where vm is known as scalar magnetic potential h the scalar magnetic potential negative gradient to em is undante magnetic field intensity or magnetic field strength ni istadi where vm is known as scalar magnetic potential that is ampere taking curl on both sides we get del cross h equal to minus del cross del vm if you take curl on both sides you will get why we are taking the curl but curl of the gradient of any scalar is always zero the curl of the gradient of any scalar that we have to remember the curl of gradient of any scalar is always zero hence del cross h equal to zero but by the ampere circuital law del cross h equal to j or j equal to zero because uh, del cross h equal to zero j equal to zero in other words scalar magnetic potential exists in the region where j equal to zero we can define the scalar magnetic potential in other way the potential which exists in the region where current density is equal to zero j equal to zero that is about uh, scalar magnetic potential again we are recalling what happened for scalar magnetic potential in scalar magnetic potential like electrostatic potential it is also on scalar magnetic potential the potential is defined as the negative gradient of potential gives magnetic field strength magnetic field that is h equal to minus del vm where vm is called as scalar magnetic potential ampere now we are taking curl on both sides that is multiplying the curl on both sides so del cross h equal to minus del cross del vm but curl of gradient of any scalar is always zero hence del cross h equal to zero but by ampere circuit law del cross h equal to current density now del cross h equal to zero hence j also equal to zero in other words scalar magnetic potential exists where the reason is j equal to zero that we have to remember h equal to minus del vm since j equal to zero we can define scalar magnetic potential like that the potential which exists in the region where current density is zero 
that is called scalar magnetic potential and h equal to minus del vm where vm is known as scalar magnetic potential and condition is j equal to 0 current density is 0 the scalar magnetic potential satisfies as the laplace's equation that is we have del dot b equal to mu naught del dot h equal to scalar magnetic potential satisfies the laplace's equation that is we have del dot b equal to mu naught j actually in in time place of del cross h equal to j we can substitute del square vm equal to 0 that is j equal to 0 now what are the characteristics of scalar magnetic potential vm the negative gradient of vm gives h uh, that is the formula it exists where j equal to 0 that is the important one current density when it is 0 then only it exists it satisfies the laplace's equation these are the characteristics it is directly defined as vm equal to minus integral a to b h dot dl where h dot dl equal to ampere it is h dot dl equal to i according to ampere circuit law it has unit of ampere the scalar magnetic potential has the unit of ampere current is the unit for scalar magnetic potential but current density is zero when it 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 has similar to vector magnetic potential vector magnetic potential exists in the region where j is present it is opposite to scalar vector magnetic potential exists in the region where j is present current current density vector magnetic potential it is defined as in such a way that its curl gives the magnetic flux density it curl gives the magnetic flux density and previously what we will give the negative gradient of scalar magnetic potential gives magnetic field but its curl gives vector magnetic potential it is defined as in such a way that its curl gives the magnetic flux density that is b equal to del cross a where a, a equal to vector magnetic potential the unit of vector magnetic potential is Weber per meter. It is also defined as vector magnetic potential A equal to integral mu naught ideal by 4 pi r Henry ampere per meter. What are the characteristics of vector magnetic potential? It exists when J is present it is defined as in two ways one is b equal to del cross a and volume integral mu naught j dv by 4 pi r and another equation is laplace's equation del square a equal to mu naught j it is also characteristics of vector magnetic potential where a is known as vector magnetic potential del square a equal to mu naught j that also del square a equal to 0 if a j equal to 0 these are the characteristics very important Vector magnetic potential Vector magnetic potential has application to obtain radiation characteristics of antennas and also used to obtain radiation leakage of transmission lines, wave guides and microwave ovens. The application of vector magnetic potential more useful for ECE subjects so that is radio waves and radiation of leakage of transmission lines, wave guides, microwave ovens. Vector magnetic potential is used to find near and far fields of antennas also.